What's up, everybody? It's Drake Welton from 24-7 Filmmaker. Uh, I just coming at you today, I got a review of this awesome graphics pack that Motion Can came out with. They contacted me and wanted me to use it for a couple weeks just to get familiar with it and see how much I like it. So I'm doing this review of this Motion graphics pack today specifically for DaVinci Resolve. Now, you can use this with Premiere, After Effects, uh, even in Final Cut if you wanted to. Um, but this specifically, this is going to be my experience with using the pack with DaVinci Resolve. And so far, I honestly have been really impressed because here's the thing. I have been looking for a, a pack like this for forever because I am someone who comes from the Adobe system with Adobe Premiere, Adobe After Effects, and I've worked with these programs for over 10 years as a professional videographer. And uh, the problem was is that I've had all these add-ons and effects and all these things that I've purchased over the years. And what I've found is, oh no, I, I don't have any like really cool transitions. I don't have a lot of effects. I don't have hardly anything. And the, the graphics pack has 2,250 elements in it. That, that's a ton of transitions and like, uh, typography and all different kind of things in there, animations, what have you. I mean, it, that really covers a lot. And so it, it kind of eliminated my need for a lot of other um, different packs out there. And a lot of them just didn't look as professional as this one does. So I dove into it this past week and uh, pretty much here's what I've learned. Here's the result. All right, guys, so I'm going to give you a brief overview here. Uh, this is what it looks like when you download it and then extract it. So I've already extracted it to my documents. I'm not going to go into like a really deep tutorial of how to install this. They have like really awesome tutorials built into here already. So all you have to do is just like watch some of these. If you get confused about something, they have readme files. And then what's really cool is if you guys want to have this on your iPad, iPad. Uh, you can find the files in here for your iPad and extract them. So that's really awesome. And then they have all previews here. So if you click on all previews, so it takes you to their website and it, this shows all 2,250 graphics all right on here of what you're going to be like working with. So if for some reason you're not being able to play them back really well in DaVinci or Premiere or whatever, you can come back here and then just kind of check them out. So if you click on the README file, which is probably the best thing that you guys can do to open up to get all the information here because it has the uh, fonts that you need to download, all fonts in one archive, and then it has tutorials for you and just all the FAQ questions and different things. Uh, for you to install this Toco graphics pack. And now to get a couple extra things like the uh, sound effects um, and some other overlay graphics, you go into extra materials and that's where you'll find glitch effects. You'll find elements, overlays, uh, colorful or just like your regular black and white. Um, we'll go to overlays, we'll go to monochrome and let's just grab one of these, we'll import it and we'll throw it over here and it also comes with the sound effect attached to it and you can play it and look at that maybe we'll go to color dodge and yeah i'll give you some effect like that so i think that's really awesome that they have all this in here and you can kind of just view them before you send them in they have different glitches and different things that uh uh i i find super useful for my videos now in here they also have the sound effects um, a lot of different things. Bubbles, whooshes, clicks, bass drops, uh, cinematic transitions, all different kinds of things that you can work with. All right, guys, so we're in DaVinci Resolve. So all you have to do is go over to the toolbox and type in Toco, and you're going to get all of the different um, animations, logos, and different things, transitions. Uh, right in here. Now, if you aren't seeing anything in here, then the installation didn't work out correctly and you're gonna probably have to go back to the drawing board to see what you did wrong. Uh, but once you type in Telco into the toolbox, you should have everything right in here. So that's 16 different section, guys. There's so many different things in here. All right, let's go up here to typography. So let's just grab one of these and throw it onto our clips. And something that I really like about this is how customizable all this is. So you can edit your text, out of the color, um, you have all different kinds of control of how to manipulate all these uh, different text effects inside of this. Got the opacity, all those goodies to make it really stand out and make it your own, basically. Um, but some of these have the option to put your own logos, your own photos, and different things in there. So the ones that do, what you want to do is right click on them and go to open Infusion page. 
and you'll see right over here so this is the media out and then the uh, toco typography I uh, double click on that it opens up this window and so you want to drag your photos over to where it says your media so these four represent these four little squares on here so I'm just gonna grab like a JPEG or PNG image and throw those <laughs> my friend Harry uh, throw all these onto it and then if you play it back look at that all those photos of Harry are uh, popping up and then if you go back to edit they'll be in there on your timeline and that's how you import your own photos into the ones that accept your own photos and logos now one thing that I've noticed with extending these animations is that you can only extend them this way to get more out of them for some reason when you go backwards it just gives you like this just blank uh, color uh, so I thought that was a little odd but uh, so in order to fix that, you know, just go to the end of your timeline and then extend to the right in your timeline and it should animate properly. Now, my favorite thing about this pack is if I grab something and throw it in like one of these animations and say the client is like, hey, instead of this being in 16 by 9, we need this, you know, in vertical resolution for TikTok or something. Uh, you can just go into here and use vertical resolution, hit save, and it automatically changes it to the vertical resolution so you don't have to do all the hard working of like redoing literally everything to get this back to where it was before uh, to go out and make it look good for a vertical resolution or the opposite in the video um, I think if I go back and I change this back to regular though yeah oh no it does update so yeah it goes right back to where it was before so it automatically updates um, to what your timeline resolution is and I think that is amazing it saves me so much time being able to drag and drop all these icons with automated uh, transitions and um, animations is just so cool to me let's go over the transitions this pack offers because I think this is a really awesome aspect I was I've been looking for some really good transitions that go well with my kind of content with music videos and such so you go to video transitions go down to camera camera Crama. Go down to camera transitions and uh, there's overlay transitions as well. But you just drag and drop the transitions on a cut and look at that. Really nice seamless animated transitions. Um, you can extend them as well if you want to make them a little bit slower. You can also animate them over here and set keyframes if you want to. Yeah, just really simple transition animations, you know, they just drag and drop them and you're good to go. And also some of the typography that's in here, I actually found really good for creating YouTube thumbnails. Now, usually I would use Adobe Express mixed with Photoshop to make something like this, but there's just so many different typography graphics in here that I just decided to <laughs> throw it on my uh, YouTube thumbnail. And I thought, it I don't know, I think it looks pretty good. So say if you wanted to make something like this a thumbnail, you throw your text over, right? You go to where you want that thumbnail to be, and then you go over here to uh, color and then you go to stills grab still and it'll be right here and that will be the still that you can save to wherever so you right click it and then you hit export and you can export that to your photos your desktop wherever and your thumbnail will be good to go now you guys might have some questions about the licensing for purchasing this product because you have the regular license for $69 and then you have the extended license for $299. So the extended license is just basically as if you're like a big business and you're going to be using this for a lot of corporate work. The extended license is only needed for commercial purposes such as if, if you want to like create a video to make a like revenue. For example, if you have like a feature film, a movie, a TV series, something like that, uh, a regular license is going to be like for us YouTubers or someone who is doing TikToks or Instagram or different things like that. Uh, for you guys, it's only $69 for the regular license. Uh, so for 2,250 graphic elements with 600 sound effects, I mean, for $69, in my opinion, that, that's just a huge steal. And I would probably value that at least 250 on up for a lot of other packs that I've seen out there. So I think this might be the best pack for just longevity. You know, I think this is something that I'm going to be using for years to come. And um, I just think it's so awesome that it includes like all the social media graphic logos and different things. 
And uh, that, that's like a huge, huge thing for me that, you know, I, you don't have to go on to Google anymore and try to find like these things and, and animate their logos and different things. No, it's all right in this pack. It's all right there. I just want to say I'm not affiliated with Toko or the Motion Can people at all. <laughs> I, uh, I am a independent um, videographer that just really likes this pack. I have no affiliation with the company. All right, so some downsides to this package because we all know not everything is perfect and I have to critique something in here. So I, I do find it odd that there is no DaVinci Resolve logos in this package at all because, you know, I, th I feel like this is a game changer for da DaVinci Resolve to have this package. Um, just in the logos and different transitions and different things that they uh, offer that there was no uh, DaVinci logos in there. Now, like I was talking about earlier, you can replace some of the logos and different things with your own image. So if you want to f throw in the DaVinci Resolve logo uh, into some of those, that you can do that. But um, again, I just find it kind of odd that they didn't have the DaVinci Resolve logo in there. So. Uh, I guess that's kind of one of my one of my big critiques on that. Uh, my other one, and I, I know this is like a legal thing, so they can't include all the fonts in there like automatically. You have to download different fonts uh, from different websites, which they made it really easy. You just go in and click the download all pack and it downloads them. And then there's like, I think five other ones that you have to kind of go search for and download those off the internet. And I think there's like one or two that you have to pay for. Now, you might be able to find those for free somewhere. I I couldn't, I didn't really deep dive into that too much. Um, but just be aware that there might be a couple fonts that you may have to purchase. And I mean, if you do, it's probably only a couple dollars anyway. But um, so I, it's just like one of those things where it's like, man, I wish it was just, you know, all in there all together. Um, but I, I understand with like licensing and different things, they can't include everything. And then my last critique of the pack, I would say, um, I guess I wish things were a little bit more labeled. So if you know you had like one of those animations with like the Twitter logo or something, uh, I wish it was kind of like labeled like you know Twitter, uh, just to help find things faster. Um, it, they don't seem to really have that. For me though, to be a little bit faster, it would be cool if they just had everything labeled a little bit better so I could go into the search bar and just kind of, you know, search what I wanted to get to it. But it's it's not a it's not a deal breaker or big deal at the end of the day. So thanks for watching guys. If you like this video and it really helped you out, give me a like. If it didn't, well, maybe subscribe because I'll have something else coming out for you. I'm doing a bunch of reviews this year, especially if you're into filmmaking, if you like red cameras, uh, tripods, lighting, the, my studio eventually I'll go over, you know, everything. Uh, follow along because I'm going to be making a lot of content that I'd, I would love to help and get back to other filmmakers in the filmmaking community uh, here on YouTube. So thanks again guys and uh, have a good one.